congratulations on completing U-Science Summit. You can now log back into your Summit account to view your aptitude results and your career matches. To log back into your account, go to uscience.com and click on the Login button in the top right corner. From here, you'll click on Discovery Login. Once you're logged in, the first thing you'll see is a welcome message about your talent and the awesome opportunities ahead of you. To begin exploring your results, click on your aptitudes. The first thing you'll see on your aptitude landing page is a pie chart of your six core drivers. These are the natural gifts that you'll feel driven to use in your career. The larger pieces of the pie represent your strongest abilities, so be sure to focus on and explore these characteristics first. You'll see an overview of your traits for this aptitude in the box to the right, but you can click on the Explore button to see a description of that aptitude, what your results show about you, how the aptitude impacts your daily life at work, at school, and in social settings, things you may find easy or difficult, tips for success, and seeing this aptitude in others. As you explore your results, be sure to bookmark descriptions that describe you well by clicking on the heart icon next to the description. The next section on the aptitudes landing page is called personal approach. These are your aptitudes for time frame orientation or how you set goals for yourself, your interpersonal style, your aptitude for vocabulary, and your work approach or the way you contribute to a team. You can click on Explore from here to read more in depth about these characteristics. The chart below this information shows you how your work approach and interpersonal style work together at school, work, and in social settings. Read the description below the graph to learn more about you and hover over the other rectangles to learn more about the characteristics of others. As you continue to scroll, you'll see your top three work interest areas displayed. Your interests will change over time and you can retake the interest portion of U-Science anytime to see if they've changed. Read the descriptions of your top interest areas as these factor into your career matches as well. The final thing that you can do on this aptitude landing page is take additional brain games to really fine tune your results and learn more about your unique talents. The next section to explore is your career matches. To access your careers, click on the drop down menu in the top left corner and click on careers. On your careers page, you can filter by educational investment or by fit type. When you sort by aptitude fit, you'll see your careers where your aptitudes align well. When you sort careers by interest fit, you'll see careers that specifically match your interests. Sorting by overall fit will give you your best matches, showing you careers where you have both an interest and an aptitude for the career. You can also search for a career rather than scrolling through the database by using the search bar in the top right corner. When you click on a specific career, you'll see an overview of the career at the top of your screen. Scroll down the page to see what a day in the life looks like for the career and core tasks associated with the career. To see how your aptitudes and interests line up with the career, take a look at the aptitude fit graph and the interest fit graph. Keep scrolling to see related careers, education requirements, and best majors or career programs. Next, see expected job openings and salary information. Have a specific location in mind? Click on a state to see more detailed information on job openings within that state. Finally, see what industries typically hire people in this career. If you're still interested, make sure to save the career for future reference at the bottom of the page. You can access all of your saved careers by going back to your careers page and clicking on the Saved Careers tab. 
The next section of your U-Science results is the Describing You section. Here you'll find terms that describe you well and statements relating to each of your aptitudes that you can use in resumes, college essays, and cover letters. As you read through this discussion guide, you can remove any terms or statements that you feel don't describe you well. The final area to explore is the colleges section. This section is especially important if you're a junior or a senior in high school and you're planning on visiting or applying to colleges soon. There are different ways to filter your search. You can filter by duration, location, distance, or cost. After you filter your choices, you can select a specific college to learn more about it. The information provided includes various statistics about the school, including cost, admissions rate, and student demographics. As you scroll, you can also see average graduation rates for the college, as well as the admissions criteria they use when selecting students. Next, see financial information and fees for attending this school. And finally, undergraduate majors that are offered. If there is a particular career that you're interested in, check and see that the major or majors associated with that career are offered at the specific colleges you're exploring. And if you're ready to take the next step, be sure to save that school by clicking on the Save School button at the bottom of the screen. Enjoy exploring your results and don't forget to share them with a parent or guardian.